But you're not entirely happy about this um, smoking situation. Let me just give you the background uh, here. Uh, Reuters, I think it must have been a, a, a news item. Uh, yes, from the 11th of May, Portugal to ban smoking in most places, restrict tobacco sales. Lisbon, Portugal's government on Thursday presented legislation to extend a ban on smoking to outdoor areas, including cover terraces and to restrict tobacco sales as it hopes to raise a tobacco-free generation by 2040. Um, what do you make of this, Lee? You're shaking your head there. It's communism, isn't it? It's just, it's just out-and-out communism. <laughs> yes. Well, it's, 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 yes, one of, my, being, one, 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 of my few pleasures in, one of my few pleasures in life is to sit and have a coffee in the morning and a cigarette, and then at yes. lunchtime time, have a quick lunch, have a beer and have a cigarette. And it's just, it's all about just relaxing the sun with a cigarette. Yeah. Yes. It, it's, it's annoyed me slightly. I, and I get that. And, and it's enough to drive a man to smoke and drink it, the stress of it. Um, so what's, what, what is going to happen? You, you, I mean, we, we were fairly <laughs> happily co weren't we? The, the, the non-smokers and the smokers. You went outside for a cigarette. We stayed inside. And that was it. Wasn't that okay? I really don't mind... Even in the UK, when we couldn't smoke inside pubs anymore, it didn't really bother me because it's, yeah. it is a bit antisocial. The smell's strong. You know, yeah. I, get, I get it. But I'm sitting outside. There's nobody else here. I'm right. not hurting anybody. Exactly. I'm not littering. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yet they're making marijuana illegal. Yet you can smoke a joint and lock it down the street. Yeah, which people yeah. do, don't they? Can I ask, where are you meant to smoke? Where, where can you smoke? Just in the privacy of your own home? Well, no, you can still smoke on the street, but you can't smoke under covered areas. So oh. I'm sat on the umbrella. But my local bar have got a permanent, um, what do you call it, like a decked area with a with a cover yeah. over it. Yeah. And in yeah. the summer, it's fantastic. It's a nice bit of shade. And in the winter, it keeps the rain off you. It's a perfect yeah. place to sit. Yeah, yeah. and Andrew, Andrew makes also, a very good They're also taking the machines out of the cafes as well. They're making it yeah. illegal for the cafes and restaurants to sell cigarettes. Yes. Which is where really? I buy most of my which is where I buy most of my cigarettes. So now I'm gonna yes. have to go to the petrol station or to what uh, a continent. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, and they're thereby creating a different kind of pollution possibly because whilst you whilst you're there smoking on a, a hand rolled cigarette, no doubt, in the cafe, as you say, not bothering anyone at all. Uh, a huge oh uh, you've got some uh, what are they called ready Marble lights today. Marble, Marble lights. Um, whilst whilst you're um, doing that, a huge truck might come past belching out diesel, or you might have to get in your van and drive <laughs> several kilometres to go and buy a packet of cigarettes, thereby adding to the pro part of the problem that they're trying to solve here. I think the main problem, to be fair, is to have this smoke-free generation by 2040. But I do like the cut of Andrew what Gilchrist. Gonna, what are we going to die of? If we don't die of something full, what are we all going to bloody die of? Well, they do say, don't they, that if it, smoking takes five years off your life, but at least it's the last five. You know, it's, that is, it's, it's, be, it's best that way. Um, yeah, and I, Portugal's a civilised country. Let people decide their own pleasures. How do, how do we stop kids smoking, or, or do you think that's part of growing up, Lee? It's, it's part of growing up. It's part of growing up. I know, I know most people that died smoking when I did, and they all quit in the early 20s. Because yes. they just, they've got no stamina. Um, <laughs> I, I put the years and the effort into this. I put yes. the years and the effort into it. That's right. But where, 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 where is it going to stop? You know, do, yeah. if, 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 you ban, if you ban smoking, what's next? Bacon? You know. Oh, no. Stop. No, stop. I mean, there, there, are, there, is, um, there is a concerted push on, on um, killing off the meat industry. Um, if we look at what's going on in Holland no, at the moment, with the me. farmers being bought out at 120% of the value of their farms, and they're being contracted not to go back into agriculture. You can buy so they're killing, they're killing the food industries, in particular the meat, and at the same time opening up some of the largest insect farms in Europe. Um, and there is, you know, that, that's the next push. Does everyone like how I'm talking without moving my lips here? The voice you can hear <laughs> is Mrs. M off camera, by the way. She is yeah. my producer. She's being a bit gobby this morning, quite yeah, frankly. Sorry. Okay. Producers don't um, normally add, okay, sorry. add so much personal. <laughs> no, but opinion. do you know what? I really, I really, um, I really feel for you. I mean, I haven't smoked for 13 years now, but yeah. I still think people should have the right to be able to scratch their ass in public if that's what they want to do. And, you know, you if still... they start to determine, you know, when you're 
smoking and when you when you can and can't do stuff i mean how long is it going to be until we're told we're not allowed to brush our hair in public in case we that should be spread nits or something yes or, you know me, breathe the, in case we take up I'd, I'd like to call i'd like to call it a conspiracy a nanny state conspiracy but it's not a conspiracy because they do it out in the open yeah um, yeah, yeah. The, 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 they're destroying the meat industry they're stopping people smoking the 15 minute cities yeah oh yeah you know have you seen the plans for the 15 minutes it's in Lisbon and the closing all the street down to traffic? It's is, really it, is, that yeah. is it happening yeah, in Lisbon? Lisbon. Oh, I, I, I thought we wouldn't be bothered with that nonsense. I thought it'd be years or before just they say, yeah, that yeah, whatever, and not do it anyway. It, it, it's an EU thing. It's going to be all across Europe. Oh. And they, they, they're trying to stop people from travelling right. uh, for work, travelling for leisure. And they want you to all live in little pockets to think you can do everything within 15 minutes of walking or cycling, not driving. Walking or cycling of your home. Well, I never. And that's what they want to encourage. And it's... how are they? How are they going to do that? Um, in all the little towns and villages of Portugal, I mean, that's where the the plans are going to fall foul. I can see how they can do that in the UK, where everything is so packed in. There's pockets of people everywhere. Resistance, hopefully. Okay, Mrs. M, <laughs> let's let, I'll, let, I'll let's let now. some other folks come in because uh, there there are um there are gentlemen waiting to join us on the screen and we'll bring you on Jason and Matty. Matty on a little bit later with his excellent news. Jason needs five. I <laughs> he's got to do the wash it up. <laughs> Living the dream. Oh coffee. He's pointing at the coffee. Five minutes then Jason we'll see you in just a moment. What's that Mrs M? Oh yeah <laughs> that's a mere mention. Right, let's let's talk a little bit more with Lee then um and others who are chipping in here um about the 15 minute cities the ban on smoking um, I, you made a good point, actually, Lee, um, earlier on about um, you're not doing anybody any harm. And you would hope, wouldn't you, that people can figure this out for themselves in their own communities. You know, you smokers go over there. We'll be over here. Us, us asthmatics will sit over here um, and we can figure it out, but not have the government uh, necessarily doing this. Or some people might say if the government don't do it, it's never going to happen. When I did when, when I did jury service in the UK, we were forced to sit in a little room to smoke. You weren't allowed to go outside. And we had a great day. All the smokers stayed in there all day. We were playing cards. We were laughing. On the second day, a girl came and said, can I sit with you? I don't smoke, but you sound like you're far more fun than everybody else's. <laughs> On occasion, smoking's a social thing. I've met loads of people in Portugal because I come outside the cafes to smoke. Yes. And that, now, that, now, now the people I let on to all the time that I talk to regular. And it's all because we have this little social group of outsiders. Yeah, I remember. Um, I do. I do remember this when I used to smoke, and I used to enjoy it. I was just lucky enough to be one of those people who can start and stop. Um, so, good point, Lord Gilchrist. The Portugal civilized country. Let people decide their own pleasures. Who will bother to enforce this? Dogs are supposed to be on a lead, and yes, you're meant to pick up their poop, uh, but this rarely happens. Tax revenues. There's not much tax revenue well, in keeping dogs on leads, is there? Or picking well, up dog? Well, I suppose the dog poop that's enforcement. Where, that that that's why they enforce it because they can make money on it. As, right. Especially, especially walking around the city. If you're in the city oh. centre, you're smoking outside a cafe. You're going to get a fine. And okay, that, so and the tax revenue is going to shift from the taxation on cigarettes as less people smoke. And there's not the cigarettes aren't expensive here in Portugal anyway, are they? So the taxation will be relatively small compared to um, the tax that is charged well, in UK, for I example. Think, I, I think the taxation is still quite high on cigarettes. Here. It's just got up another ten cents, so it's one thirty now for twenty. Sorry, it's five thirty now for twenty Malbra. Um But if you can if you can find people forty euros for smoking in an unauthorized place, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Several times. Yeah. Several times. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, interesting. Um, what next? The sex tax. I don't know how that's going to be enforced, um, but um, I don't give them I'd ideas. Happily pay that. I'd, ha I'd happily pay that tax. Right. Does, I was going to does ask it guarantee sex? Yeah. This, I don't think that's how it's going to work, Lee. <laughs> Blooming <laughs> me. I don't know how that's come into it. Um, I'm a quitter, says Becky. No, I want a fag. I love this chat. Um, fag in w w for the Brits is um, is a cigarette, of course. Um, for the Americans, the Brits you, only know it's a cigarette. They see Americans as well. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, you you've been busted here. Bond here says smoky treats. Lee should be working. I mean, this is part of your working day, isn't it? You need to shine. I've actually, your... I've actually already done an hour. I've been I got out early today because I knew I was going to be on here. So I've got out early. I've already done one garden. And I'm yes. having my um, my traditional coffee in the morning, which I normally have before mine. 
Okay, well, I think his sentiments are fairly are for being well retrieved. Who is Smoky Treats? Who, who is that, Lee? Do we know? No idea. Oh, really? Okay, he seems he seems to know you. Okay, uh, thank you, Smoky Treats, uh, for your comment this morning, and thank you, Becky, for being here as well. Fifteen minutes. Cities are a dumb idea. Yeah, uh, Luis. Um, there have to be limits, though. Scratching. <laughs> Okay, veganism k kills more animals and ecosystems than... It oh, okay. It's, it's spilled over, isn't it? People have been triggered, I think. Uh, today is Portugal's National Scientist Day. Is that right? Thank you very much, Antonio, for that. Uh, the compliance started with the lockdowns. 15-minute cities is the next step. Uh, totally. All the conversations are outside with smokers. <laughs> Agreeing with you there. Um, this can stop smoking inside. The cool people will go outside. Come on, let's not be all us and them about it. And if we had banned smoking, we would still have, if we had banned smoking, we still have Roy Castle. Anyway, knowing Portugal administration will mean it won't be implemented for another decade. Um, and Roy Castle was always blown. Uh, rest in peace, Roy Castle. If, go on. If, if, they really, if they really want to stop smoking, they could just put yeah. the age on up every year. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, instead here, of being 18, it becomes 20, then it becomes 21. And at 25, right. nobody's starting smoking because you've already yeah. financially burdened with your mortgages and your okay. child insurance. Oh, I don't so. think kids are that interested, frankly. I don't know the numbers on that, but I think kids are far too intelligent to smoke. And I strongly believe that individuals should be able to do anything they want with their own bodies, uh, says the slug. But what they do to their own bodies should not impinge negatively on other people's bodies. And I think we can figure that out. If you want to inhale toxins, have a, have a, have a, have at it or go for it. Don't make me do it. Yeah, of course. Um, no one else. Again, what, what what am I doing by smoking that infringes on anybody else that you're not doing by driving your car? Or, well, there is that. There is that. Or okay. overusing your electric at home or I don't know, having an open fire every, every night in the winter. That's far well, more, that's far more dangerous than me smoking. We do affect each other. Jason is in the outdoors now. Are you ready to come on the screen, Jace? Thumbs up. He's having a quick, he's having a, a quick one out there. How are you doing, Jason? I know morning. I'm doing, doing good, thank you. Great. Great to have you here. Having, uh, having me morning gasper and a, <laughs> and a cup of coffee. <laughs> Your army mug there. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Yes. Uh, been enjoying the weather. Yeah, which has been been nice and um, yeah. sort of cracking on with things. What's yeah. all this about banning smoking? What's going on? Well, the Portugal is moving closer to uh, banning smoking in outdoor areas. Uh, you're not okay. you're not allowed to use the outdoor areas. You're gonna have to go out in the street, I think, or stay in your own home. Um, okay. And the the purchasing of tobacco products will become more difficult as well. What's your view on it? My view on it is is it'll it'll kill all the cafes and bars. Especially oh, in rural nice. areas yeah. where they're kind of like the focus and the hub of where people go. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering about the legalities of buying an old uh, minibus or something, parking it outside the cafe, <laughs> like we all chip in, <laughs> and then we could just go and sit in the car, couldn't we? You could, you could close all the windows, you could sit in a little bubble of smoke with your mate yeah. outside the cafe, it'd be perfect. Wind all the windows up. I like a hot box of smoking. And, you know, it'd be like, it'd be like visiting your grandparents' house in the 1970s, wouldn't it? You could put a TV in the corner, a nice cup of tea in there. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. amazing. It's, a good idea. it's a good idea, Jason. And the, the enterprising entrepreneurs of... Oh, he's going to have a... Yeah, oh, 